Hey guys, and welcome to Selection Box Science. This experiment uses one of these, a Christmas plant. It's known as a poinsettia. Now you'd think that this was just for decoration, right? Well, wrong. This is for science. Um, first things first, you'd probably better ask whoever actually looks after the plant. Um, what you need to do is it uses these red bits. Now these aren't actually flowers, they're actually called bracts, they're slightly different. And uh, I'm just going to pop off one of those bracts and then we're going to chop it up. And you're probably going to need about five of these. Just pop it in like that, nice. So that adds in with the rest of it, that's probably about as much as you need. And then we're going to just simmer it. We're going to simmer it. So just pop that into, pop that into my pan. Just add enough water just to cover over the top of all of those red bracts, and then just heat it. Just simmer it. it takes about four minutes until all the colour is drained out of the leaves. Right, that is definitely done. All the poinsettia has lost its red. Got lovely red juice. Now we want to drain that off. So um, grab yourself some coffee filter papers, stick them in a Pyrex jar, and then just slowly pour this through. Just want to filter off all the leaves and just get the red juice. There you go. You can see it pouring through there. Perfect. Okay. So now we have our juice. Now we actually want to soak that juice back up again into a filter paper. So grab one of your filter papers, just cut down the edge of it, like that, and round the bottom as well. Open it up, pop it on a plate, and then pour the red juice all over it. That filter paper is going to suck all that up. Now that's hot at the moment, so just leave that to dry somewhere. Leave it to cool down, and then hang it up as well. Okay, here's one that I've dried out overnight. Um, it's been soaked up with that poinsettia solution, now it's nice and dry. Now, have you ever tasted lemon juice or vinegar and it makes your face go like that? That's because that's an acid that you've just tasted and, and chemists say that's pH 1 or pH 2. The opposite scale from an acid is a base or an alkaline and a good way to mix that is to get some bicarbonate of soda mix it up with a bit of water in a glass. You've now got an alkaline solution, which is pH kind of 11 or 12. I'm saying that because this poinsettia, this Christmas plant, is really good at being a pH indicator. So it can tell you if a solution is acid or if it's alkaline. So let's try it. We've made ourselves some, some litmus paper. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some acid on one side. On that goes, so that's lemon juice going on. You can already see it's changing color, which has worked. Uh, or we're going to put the sodium bicarbonate solution on this side. Where I poured on the lemon juice, it's turned red. And where I poured on my bicarbonate of soda and water, it's turned green. So what you've got here is a pH indicator, a different colour for acid than it is for alkali.